All right, so let's bring them out. Um, first, let's go with uh, Mimi Valdez, the producer of the film. And then, oh, they're coming out. <laughs> we have Quincy Brown, who plays Julial. Chanel Iman, who plays Lily. Blake Anderson, who plays Will. Kiersey Clemens, who plays Diggy. Uh, Tony Revolori, who plays Jib. And, uh, and we got Cap G, who plays both Fidel and features on the soundtrack. So let's, let's start it off, guys. Let's, let's start with Mimi down at the end. I mean, music plays a very, very large role in this film. And uh, it really is a love letter to 90s hip hop in a lot of ways. But I, I was wondering if you could talk just about the role of music and how it it really does like shape the entire tone of the film. It gives it the groove. Totally. The, the music is definitely another character in the film. Um, Rick, the writer-director, uh, he loved 90s hip-hop and wanted to infuse it in the film. And, and you think about the 90s and it just being such a great era for music, not just hip-hop, but grunge, like so, so much great music, and there was so much diversity. So I think um, Rick liked the idea of having that juxtaposition of what that 90s music represented in terms of just being so different and so many different unique voices and infusing it into the film with these characters. Right, and Cap, you perform a song on the soundtrack, right? Uh, yeah. let's, let's talk about that. It's C cocaine shoddy, I lose the title. Yeah, cocaine is shoddy. Yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> so, so how did that, you know, how did that kind of vibe with just the film itself? Was it inspired by? Yeah, it was. Um, if you see my scene, it's like gritty. You know, I'm a tough guy. I got the tats, so it really represents that cocaine is shoddy. You know. And I mean, you guys. I mean, you you know, with Tony and Kiersey, you guys feature in a band in the film, Oreo. Yeah. And you get to perform four new songs by Pharrell. Um, but I mean, what was, what was it like? Just did you have band practice? I mean, were you actually performing some of those songs as far as? Call that? <laughs> um, well, I mean, we kind of just went in and did it in the studio with Pharrell. We didn't really have practice. Well, I don't know about you. I had to practice my drums. Her but drumming skills. Like, other than that, we heard the songs when we got there. and. Yeah. He kind of added lyrics and switched up the track and everything, and it was like a collaborative effort. It was really cool. Was he wearing the hat in the studio when you were? Yes. It was one of them. He has like no. one, two or yeah, something. Yeah, he did, but like he also took it, it off at yeah, one point. And I put yeah. it on. And she put it on. <laughs> <laughs> did it yeah, fit? He didn't have it the whole yeah. time. Yeah. I had well, to no, wear the his, hat. his hats fit everyone. They like shrink and grow at the same time. <laughs> it's amazing. It just customizes to the head. Yeah. So. It customizes to the head. Uh, um, Blake, I mean, with you, yes. so they come in contact with Will. Yes. Because they need to move a very large amount of ecstasy. I got to push that weight. Lolly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which is called Lily, but we'll get to that later. Through a bizarre series of circumstances, it gets called Lily. Um, but, you know, I mean, have you ever dabbled in the, uh, in the deep web? Did you do any research as far as, because they have to, the thing is you have this black market operation that you set up where, you know, they pay through bitcoins and that sort of thing. And yeah. I don't think a lot of people are familiar with that? Um, no, I've never uh, sold drugs online. Um, <laughs> On the Silk have, Road? <laughs> I may have accidentally sold drugs in person once or twice. But right. Yeah, as far as the black market goes, I'm not too familiar with it, but it, it is a deep web for sure. Yeah. Right. And, uh, and Chanel, I mean, there's, there's an insane scene that basically sets off a lot of the action in this film as, as far as the lily goes and how the drug gets its name but i'm curious what it was like to shoot so what happens is basically um you accidentally snort a ton of the stuff not accidentally you snort, <laughs> a, ton of, <laughs> you snort accidentally. a ton of the stuff and the, but you don't know how potent it is and then you basically end up outside of a starbucks peeing and uh and it goes viral and yeah. then and then the drug gets called lily but i mean what was it like that is the most insane scene, I think, in the film. What was it like to shoot that sequence? Um, there's a lot of insane um, scenes in the film. And my character, she's crazy, wild, all over the place. And she's just, it's just, it's a really edgy role that I played. And, you know, he's the one that gave it to me. Um, I'm sorry. But it was actually really fun to do a lot of the things that I, I've never done in my life and run across the street and piss. Uh, and th there was a throw up scene. There's all different crazy stuff that I'm doing in the film, and um, I, I, you know, a lot of people are used to seeing me like put together. So this was a great 
part for me to be all, to play a raw role. Okay, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And yeah. and I mean Quincy, you two, you're you're involved in a lot of the Lily scenes as well. I mean, and your character is kind of a ridiculous caricature of just like an Angelino hip hop head. How did you how did you get how did you find that character? You know, is he based on someone you know or Yeah, um to really tap into my character of Jalil, um, I know a lot of people, first of all, his whole mentality and his demeanor and everything, it's almost like he was doing too much. He was trying to be too gangster and, and he wasn't. And it was forced, you know, and I kinda know some people like that in real life. And I also know some real gangsters in real life. So I just got to mesh the two. You know what I mean? And like find that little line in between it, you know, and that's definitely Jalil all the way. He's kind of like Malibu's Most Wanted. Exactly. A little, a little bit. Yeah. He's just black. He, you know, he, <laughs> but he is black. So let's, let's throw to a clip, uh, one of the first clips in the film, and, uh, and check it out right here. So you probably recognize that voice that was narrating that clip. That's Forrest Whitaker, who's a producer on the film. And he also narrates the film as well. And that was Zoe Kravitz, who plays Nakia, who's the... Uh, I guess the apple, or in that scene, I guess apple bottom of, uh, of, of, Malcolm's, of Malcolm's eye. Um, uh, so, I mean, we also heard some naughty my nature in that, in that as well. I mean, for you guys, are you guys, you know, Tony and Kiersey, are you guys in the 90s hip hop at all? Or is this kind of a, an education for you, so to speak? Um, I think I learned more. I think I learned more so like about other genres rather than just hip hop because these kids like what is it like punk rock yeah. all that stuff so it's a lot of like thermals and corn and tv on radio so i mean yeah. we see a lot of 90s music but when we were kind of getting ready to shoot this uh rick our director gave us a lot of cds with music and it would be you know a lot of bands punk 90s hip hop so it was a huge collection what rappers were on the mixtapes that uh, rick rick gave you who, what? I didn't really like listen to the rappers to be honest because I mean like we already know we already them. Knew them. So yeah. I was like, I got into corn. Oh really? <laughs> She's massively into corn now. I was like, oh, corn's really cool. That's so awesome. I listened to like a lot of like I wanted like headbang and stuff like that. You know. Good for you. Does he still perform in the kilt? Uh, I don't know. But he, he I think so. <laughs> yeah, he used to perform that. Um, so so I mean I mean Blake too. You know what was what was it like to get? How many times were you slapped by by Kiersey? During the making of this film, thirty-seven. Too many. I counted. Too many for sure. Uh, the, I think it's the first slap in the movie, but the second slap we actually filmed uh, when we're kind of at at camp. It's like a flashback, and Kiersey's kind of like slapping me from the from the back, and uh, yeah, we took that several times up to the point where like you get this natural instinct. I couldn't even help it. I was like actually starting to get very pissed. pissed. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. So Kiersey, did you go full? Full throttle on those? Well, or? that was the reason we had to do it a bunch of times because I didn't want to, like, like I respect you as a man. Well, like, I didn't you. want to slap you. And That's so... the first time I've ever heard that. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and so I was kind of, like, doing it, like, half-ass. Yeah. And he was like, you need to really hit, hit me. Just, like, <laughs> we're, like, Get wasting time. Yeah. yeah. But um, I went for it. Like, she did. The last couple uh, takes, yeah. I, I, was know, I think you got a sense of it from the trailer, but... Uh, Blake's character has a penchant for saying the uh, the N word a lot, yes. and uh, yes. and it earns him some well deserved slaps yeah. throughout the, throughout the <laughs> film and Kiersey's character. Yeah. Um, so, so Chanel, I mean, you know, as far as getting into Lily and tapping into that, you know, could you just describe what her vibe is because she is she is kind of the seductress when you first come in and meet her, but then she, you have to just completely go off on like a crash course of insanity. I, so how was it? Just managing Lily, you know, managing that transition from like cool seductress in the beginning to completely insane person. Well, um, Lily has a lot of levels to her character, and um, you know, in the beginning, she's very sexy, and you know, she's just kind of she's all into Malcolm and wants to get to know him, and then she's you know just she's very flirty, and um, then she just. I don't know, just something hits her where it's just like she just snaps and she just has this split personality and just wiles out and you guys will see, you guys will laugh. And um, I just kind of um, went online and did a little research and kind of, I guess, saw what it was like to be on her level of, 
you know. <laughs> Recreational <laughs> <high>. <laughs> That's right, you know, I like, Chanel does no drugs or alcohol. Say, yeah, no. She's like such a good girl, so when you guys see the film, you'll be really surprised because she really dove into it. It's her first role, first movie role ever. Very proud of her. Yeah. <laughs> now, ASAP Rocky plays Dom, who's, who's the, uh, the, the big drug dealer, the nefarious drug dealer in the film, who it's, it's all his ecstasy, basically. But uh, does anyone have any good ASAP stories <laughs> on the panel? I mean, as far as <laughs> well, your sister. I have one that's oh. probably very boring, but very <laughs> impressive. He, again, it was also his first role. He had never been in a movie before, and he was so just like excited about it and did whatever it was that he needed to do. He'd come to the set early. He was always like talking. Are you with sure? <laughs> someday, someday. Well, well, maybe, the day, maybe the day that, 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 maybe there was one day I didn't realize because you used to bring him, right? So you were driving um, him to the set to no. make sure? No, oh. no, 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 I didn't do all that. <laughs> <laughs> I just but made he, sure everything was okay. It felt like everything I like, I, I felt like anytime we needed him, he was there. We yeah. weren't, you know, searching for him, I yeah. guess. No, no, he was definitely very professional, which I, I thought. Also, there was one point in the club scene where he tripped. Do you remember that? Like, oh, yeah. There was an extra who, oh, like, who, yeah. who <laughs> messed up and didn't yeah. run in the right direction, and she tripped ASAP, and he cut his knee. Yeah. Oh. He handled oh, it like a... Like a pro. Like a G. Uh, <laughs> he hid that uh, anger really good. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I know the first time I got to meet ASAP was at, at Sundance, and, you know, it's always kind of a roll the dice when you're meeting a rapper you're not sure what they're gonna be like but uh you know that's that's flacco you don't want to mess with him you know <laughs> no, 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 but no. he was actually a really really chill cool dude yeah yeah he was running in lines with me like because i really wanted to do this and i was you know um just i just read the script i fell in love with it and i saw there was a character that acted a little similar to him so i we both went on and on the audition and we killed it we both got a call that we were in the movie together, so it was awesome. Cool. Yeah. No? Yes, there we go. Yeah. Let's give it for it. There we go. Uh, uh, so, good. Good. so let's go to another clip. Uh, this one is about Blake's character, Will. That's the slap. <laughs> That's that not entirely it. true. He does use it <laughs> more times right? than I do. In the film. In the um, film. So I, I gotta ask, I mean, what were you guys using for the drugs. I'm always curious what they use for the drugs in the movie. I mean, what were you guys actually- Baking powder. Wait, what did you, cause you were the one that like really like, what were you guys You're like sorting? Well, at powder. first it was, it was like some type of salt or something and I thought it was like a prop. So I took, I, I like lick it and like put it in my nose and everything and um, my throat closed for a while. <laughs> so they had to get through, you know, the set powder and it, doesn't do anything, but I was yeah. having a moment on set just breathing. <laughs> so I just, um, I had the wrong stuff. <laughs> <laughs> what about the tabs too? Like what, what, what are they even giving you? Just like candy or what is, what are they making you like? Nerds? A lot, of, nerds? a lot of times it's like sugar pills or something like that. I'm, now I'm addicted to those, so. <laughs> Why do you think he's so energetic? You're right. That's true. <laughs> I mean, so the, you guys really jammed on this film. It was shot in, I believe, 25 days. Um, 24. 24 days, 24 oh, yeah. days. Uh, that's, I know, that's one so less, less day, than, guys. Yeah, I know. So just a little over three weeks, basically. Um, I mean, what were kind of the hardest scenes for, for you guys to shoot? I mean, let's go with, uh, you know, Tony and Kiersey on this one. The hardest, I think when we were like outside on the bikes and it was like 104 degrees outside, yeah. that was uh, pretty sweaty and uh, difficult. But also the last day of shooting, we shot one of the most intense scenes in the movie. And I was already like, I'm a baby, so I already like wanted to cry because it was our last day. Okay. <laughs> so it got really dramatic for me. Um, but I think those two. No, yeah. I mean, it was hot on set, and I, um, I actually fainted from heat exhaustion at one point. Really? Yeah. Because um, our costume designer put me in like seven layers of leather, <laughs> and I just flop flopped. Or um, shooting in the school was difficult, too because school was actually active while we were doing it. So it was actually really funny. We, we couldn't actually say what we were shooting because it's a school, and we couldn't say we're shooting dope, because, um, well, that doesn't sound right. Um, so we had to, like, they, would, they gave us this memo to call it Oreo, but I just kept saying we were shooting Hancock too. It's pretty Hancock funny. Too. <laughs> 
so you brought so school's still going on, and you have a backpack with a bunch of fake ecstasy and a fake gun yeah. inside of the school, and you're yeah. shooting it. Yes. Oh yeah. And nobody said anything. What's no, the problem? Said... It's America. It's yeah, a... <laughs> exactly. Public education, you know. We just told them that uh, Jennifer Lawrence and Tom Cruise were coming, and they were fine with it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, what about you know? Did, did you guys kind of have you know Tony and Kiersey? I mean, and and you know with Malcolm, did you guys have like? Bonding rituals or, or something to... Rituals? Yeah, I, I don't even know. Maybe like not we, rituals. We'd sacrifice the chicken. Over each other, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like hang time before <laughs> the like... Because you guys really do give the semblance of lifelong friends in this film, which, which isn't the easiest thing to do, so... Yeah, I mean, we all kind of connected off the bat. Like, I knew Shamik through mutual friends, sort of, already. So when I saw him audition, I was like, oh, hey, what's up? I gave him a ride home after our audition <laughs> together. I didn't know who he was. She didn't um, care who I was. He's a hitchhiker. <laughs> Um, and we would just hang out when we booked it. We just all hang out like in my apartment, and which was like across the street from the production office. Yeah, with your devil dog. <laughs> my dog attacked him. Literally attacked him. Like bit him. Tried to eat him up into a bunch of. Little and it's pieces. like a tiny little chihuahua. <laughs> I'm scared of dogs. It's like that scene in okay. something about Mary or something. Yes, exactly <laughs> <Yeah>. like that. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Jaw off. Yeah. Well, wasn't that a ferret though? Sorry, off point. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, so I think we have one more clip to show you guys. We're going to throw we're going to throw to that right now. It's a good one. Oh, that's CGI. I, that so I know, right? <laughs> okay, so I think we're going to open it up to uh, audience questions right now. So Hi everybody. Hola. Hey. 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 Awesome cast. Awesome. I'm Jossie. Uh, I had a question doing? for Blake Anderson. Hello, Blake. How are you? Hi, I'm doing well. I love Thank workaholics. You. Round of applause for workaholics, real quick. All right, yeah. I was particularly interested in the fact that, you know, your character had to use the N word, and you are Caucasian. I am. Yeah. You but um, what were your thoughts on, on, on that role? I know as an actor, you have to be professional, but how was that experience for you? Um. You know, yeah. As an actor, I'm 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 down to do what what's written on the page. Uh, it wasn't like, ah, oh, yes, finally. <laughs> of course, yeah. <laughs> uh, I've been waiting for this moment. But uh, yeah, no, I'm not personally a fan of using the word in my my own personal life. Right. But you know, I think it is a subject that needs to be addressed as well because I know there are people who are frustrated by the fact that they can't say because it isn't coming from a malicious place. I don't know if it's my spot or, you know, Chet Hanks' spot to discuss that or make up that decision of what what is right or wrong, but mm -hmm. it's but definitely as an actor, something that can you be... You have to, you know, play that role and, and start in the conversation. So it's, yeah. it's a vulnerable vulnerable role for you, definitely. I want to commend you. Thank you. Thanks. That's, that's, as That's long as I'm big, not getting like slapped, job, but, yeah, you know. slapped on the streets or whatever, I'm cool. <laughs> yeah. Well, All right. Thanks. Thanks. Hi guys. Uh, my name's Augustus, and I guess this is targeted towards Chanel, Blake, and Tony in specific. But it's just such an eclectic cast, um, especially with ASAP Chanel. This is your first uh, time working in a movie, Blake from working with Adam and Durs, and then with working with Wes Anderson. What was it like, just every day, you know, any of the funny stories, just what, what was that like for you guys? You wanna go down this way? Um, you wanna start it? Well, it was long, long hours on set. I'm used to like nine to five being on set as a fashion model, so I was really exhausting for me. But I was lucky enough to be working with a, a great cast where we all had a great special bond and we made the best out of our time and we enjoyed each other's company. So it was pretty easy and fun. It didn't even feel like we were at work because the director really allowed us to be creative on set and let us do our own thing. And, you know, we had a good chemistry, all of us. Yeah, I, I think I think that's absolutely true, I'm, and I think it speaks a lot. All, most of my scenes, you know, I, I was lucky to do some really fun scenes with Chanel. What did you do? Tell them. <laughs> what did you guys Girl, do? Girl, you know what we did. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I mean, just Kiersey, Tony, Shamik, there's 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 such a good energy on set, and they they really just welcome you, you know. So it was easy to to play along with them on set because they're just you know they're pros. They're they're, they're good at their jobs, so. We try to be. Yeah. We try to be. Oh, uh, right, for me. 
I don't. I mean, it was really fun on set. It was um, a lot different from what I'd done before, um, but that's not to say it was bad. It was just a completely new experience, and I had a lot of fun. Um, coming from a movie where I couldn't improvise a single line, um, where basically half my lines are completely improvised, uh, it was really a lot of fun, and I got to like flex some muscles I've, I haven't. So now I'm sore. Thanks, guys. It looks really great. Appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> How you guys doing? What's up? Hi. My uh, name is Christian, and uh, my question is for Quincy, actually. Yo, you did a phenomenal job in Brotherly Love, by the way. Thank you. Thank great you. Great job. How do you feel about taking on this lighter role right now in Dope when your role in Brotherly Love was darker? How do you right, how well, the transition? It, it, yeah, definitely, uh, you know, black and white roles. You yeah. know, since uh, Brotherly Love was straight, you know, undercover, like, smooth guy, but, you know, really a... Devil in the end. Um, oops, I just told a movie. Um, <laughs> what? But, no, uh, come on, that yeah, was my cue. Being able to explore um, with you know Jaleel, it was it was a lot of like, <clears throat> it was a lot of improvisation. But then again, I had to like stay true. You know, it's like almost like I had to do too much without doing too much. You know, because that's who he was. And I was like, you know, how do you do too much and make it believable instead of looking like you? You know, you just acting a fool. And you know, I think it was it was just. I took my time with everything. I didn't. I didn't rush anything. I didn't. You know. I, I really listened to my characters. A lot of talking and listening. You know, because a lot of the conversations you see between us, it literally was like back and forth. And that's how I went on set. It wasn't like, you know, set up that way to where it's like you had to be cut. You know, that way we were actually having conversation. She's saying something, and now she, you know this person's saying something. And I'm looking back and forth, and you know what I mean. So it was. It was like real. You know, it was just real conversation. I kind of like found that true place. You know, to who I am, and then just apply those little extra, you know, attributes to you know be a little extra. Right. Yeah. Cool, man. Dope. Yeah. How's it going, everybody? Thank you all for coming. Uh, this movie looks dope. Um, do, so I'm, I got a question for all you guys to answer. Uh, dope is one of my favorite words to use. I know it's slang, but it's part of my everyday vernacular. It's a very positive word. You know, I want to know if we go down the line and just w what your favorite word is, whether it's a slang term or just a word that you use all the time. That when someone hears that word, they think of you. My favorite word is dope. Dope. <laughs> so is mine. Oh gosh. Um, I had to think. You, you say. What's uh, your? I would. I would probably say dude. I say dude, dude a lot. <laughs> bro, you say bro a lot too. Bro, dude. Bro, dude. <laughs> See, I would say rad. Rad is my thing. I know it's weird, but that's rad. I don't know. <laughs> she does, She says she doesn't know. That's her word. I don't know. I feel like it's not appropriate to say, like... No, say it, say it. Probably like the F word or bitch or something. <laughs> um, me being from Atlanta, I say cooling. I just be cooling. Cooling. Ooh. I wish That's that was right. mine. Right. That one's cool. It's pretty rad. Peace, how y'all doing? I'm Art. Hi. Um, so, my question is for Miss Chanel, since this is your first movie. What was your biggest challenge in playing this role? At first, it was, I think, being nude, um, and but then I realized that um, I've done topless shots, like you know, since I was 18, and um, I had to be comfortable with myself and my body. And I just never seen myself topless, like, on a f in film. So I think that was challenging for me to like be comfortable with being on set with the crew and just like not overthinking and going for it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Somebody's got to uh, play Lily. So. <laughs> Hello, my name is Andre. I have a question uh, for Mimi. How do you go about casting new talent? Like just fresh, never seen you before. No, it's, a great, it's a great question. So we had an amazing um, casting um, director, but um, going into this, Rick and all of us, all the filmmakers, we definitely wanted the, the spirit of the, the cast. The, we wanted young, young actors. Um, I think for Malcolm, we went back and forth a lot about whether or not it was going to be someone known or not. And I think in the end, we all just were like, you know what, we want to we wanna bring some fresh faces. I mean, some of them have acted before, but Cap had never acted before as well. And his scene, when you see him, is such an emotional scene. It's totally opposite from who he is as, as a person. But I think all of us, Pharrell as well, like we were all really excited about just finding a, a cast that could really represent the energy and the spirit of the film. And they all did an amazing job. And I, I wanted to know, did an agent like 
send you to him or you just like found them on YouTube or something? Like, how well, does that? No, look? our cast, are, you know, they, you know, a bunch of auditions. I mean, Rocky put himself on tape, sent it to us. Um, Pharrell really wanted uh, Cap G to be in it, so he auditioned, killed his audition. But yeah, it was a combination of different, um, you know, people reaching out to our cast and director and sort of the putting the word out. But it was done, on, I mean, if this, just so that you know, I mean, we did this independently, we raised the money for this film. If this film would have went through the Hollywood system, you know, a Hollywood studio, they probably would not have let us cast any of these actors. Okay, that you, that's what I was going to say. with the exception of, okay. you know, Blake over here. But, but for the most part, you know, and, and Zoe. <laughs> but, you know... <laughs> But because, you know, they were, you know, Blake has a really big following. But but again, that's usually how the movie studios will cast. Like, okay. But to right. us, they, most people, I think, looked at this cast going into Sundance being like, oh, there's no stars in that film. And all of us were laughing because we were like, all right, wait until you see. Because they all are stars. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Hi, my name's Armani. How are you guys? Um, <laughs> my question's for Kiersey. Um, you have um, amazing style. My Thanks. question for you is, how did you feel about your new wardrobe in the movie? Oh, I loved it. I thought it was really cool. I mean, aside from today, normally I'm really, like, lazy. And my sister's over there. She's really fashionable. I'm wearing her shoes. She's the one that makes me, like, look cute when I Wait, come up here. isn't it your sister's birthday today? It is my sister's birthday. We can can say, say happy birthday, birthday to my sister. <laughs> Um, it was, <laughs> it was, it was cool. I, I, it was kind of like Patrick, our wardrobe, our costume designer, he wanted to go for like, um, a, an Aaliyah vibe. He didn't want to make her like too butch and stereotypical. Um, and I, I, I wanted to like wear caps and like, cause we couldn't shave my head completely. So we did like a mohawk and a lineup and like covered it and. Um, it was fun. It was cool. I like only had like 10 minutes in hair and makeup like the guy, so I was down with it. Boo. Yeah, Thank you. Boo. All right, thanks for coming, everybody, and uh, make sure to go see Dope, June 19th. It's, it's an Thank amazing you. film, really, one of the best.